What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And I thought, well, it's actually cold out. We're in Pennsylvania, of course. It's really cold. So, I can't really go outside. Me or Mason, the cameraman slash challenge person, can't really go outside. We will go outside later. Show you a hockey video, but I'm going to show you some tips what to do when you're, like, getting good at uh, rollerblading. So, Mason, you can pan it down to where it is. Of course, you start out like this. And you're doing this. At one point, you're going to get to this. How to do that, you may ask. Well, if you train like me. Every day after school, I go up there. Up there's like a little carpet, and I used to do this. So say so there's a little mud area, I guess, for like to stomp your feet and get all the mud off. There would be a carpet down there. I'd take my roller blades. There'd be a, I wouldn't say thin, but a pretty big piece. Is that 300 of what? Of 800 that I had to pay? Wood. And I would just, just go, put that down and make the bump cheaper. Bam, bam. <laughs> and I'd turn. I would go back, get on that carpet again, and turn. Do that every day for, let's say, eight weeks, six weeks, six to eight weeks. And at one point, you'll get to this. Now, I figured a way to turn as well. And this is mine. I'm not really professional, of course. But if I keep one foot and push off the other, I'll turn. So, bam, bam, bam. I'll turn. Now, you might think, how am I going like this, Mason? Hand it up. And doing that. As I take it slow, I hold on to, let's say this, and I go, and I go, bam, and I just let it go. Do this for four weeks, I would say. And then at one point, like a speed blader, it'll be like that. You also want to push off when you turn. So push. Point, you can start rollerblading. Hope you enjoy.